The aerotracheobronchial stent system is comprised of a dedicated delivery system and a radiopaque tracheobronchial stent. The arrow is a self-expanding stent laser cut from nitinol and designed to meet the specific anatomical requirements of the airway. The stent is fully covered with a polyurethane coating and has unique anti-migration struts that run throughout, providing maximum luminal stability. The delivery system features an ergonomic and simple design that allows for placement with either rigid or flexible bronchoscopy. Once the stricture has been located, the delivery system is advanced over an 035 guide wire and through the stenosis. The stent body is positioned using fluoroscopic visualization of the radiopaque markers at the tip of the catheter and the distal end of the stent pod. The non-flared medial portion of the stent body is centered over the stricture. Once the markers are in satisfactory position for deployment, the delivery device is held in the palm of the hand. Direct visualization of the green proximal marker on the delivery device will provide a guide for placement. The outer sheath is slowly retracted to begin deployment. The operator should not grab or pinch the catheter with their hand as this may cause the stent to push distally during deployment. Complete actuation of the first white trigger will deploy half of the stent. This will serve as the halfway point in stent deployment allowing repositioning of the stent if needed. The deployment and position of the stent should be monitored fluoroscopically. The nitinol laser cut design greatly reduces the amount of foreshortening upon deployment, which results in a more accurate stent placement. Complete actuation of the second blue trigger will release the remainder of the stent body. As compared to longer stent systems, a bronchial stent that is 60 millimeters or shorter in length will only include one deployment trigger. There is a notch in the delivery system that indicates when the deployment is at 50% of full expansion. Placement of the aero stent can be confirmed endoscopically or fluoroscopically. Following completion of deployment, the catheter and guide wire are retracted.